What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this image. This is something I found online and I thought it looked really cool. It's kind of a view where you have this, pre uh, this presentation where you've got a very detailed section and then you have a perspective section behind it. So it kind of uh, blends a, a detail with a kind of a perspective view. I think it looks really cool and I, I thought I'd find a way how to recreate this using Revit and a little bit of Photoshop. And if you want to see just how I created this uh, this colored cool looking section, I've already have a tutorial on that, so make sure to check out that tutorial in the description of this video. And before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. This is the section that I'm talking about. So I've already created this and we're going to just be making a couple of modifications. First one is to turn off the shadows because we don't need them and we also don't need uh, this uh, planting in this view. So I'm just going to type in VG for visibility graphics and just scroll down a bit and find planting and uncheck that, go apply. Okay, so this looks fine right now. And one more thing that I need to do, this needs to be a section only. So I don't want to see this thing over here that's kind of an elevation view, it's not in section view. We only want to have stuff that's being cut. So to get that, you need to go here to, to any level basically, select the section and then bring this in all the way over here. So kind of bring it in like that. And now if you open this section up, it looks kind of like this. So only the things that are being cut are in view. So once we have this, now we can go and create our perspective or our perspective section. So to do that, go in any floor plan and here I'm just going to turn off these uh, the crop view so I can see a bit better. And I'm also going to select some of these trees and place them over here behind just to make everything seem a bit nicer and just to have a bit of a fuller background. So kind of place it maybe like that maybe one of these over here. Okay, so we've got a bunch of stuff going on here. Now let's go and create a camera view. So just select camera and place a view like this. And once you have this, you need to right click on this here cube and just go orient to view, choose sections and then choose the section that you're trying to cre recreate with a perspective view. And once you have that, you need to scroll down here in the properties panel, find the section box, turn it on. So you get the section box over here. And if I go into, uh, into level one, I can kind of bring it in all the way here to the uh, placement of this, uh, this section over here. And once we have that, let's go to 3D view number four. And this is what we get. This is the section. And first I like to center it on the screen. And to do that, you need to select the whole, uh, the whole section, and then you need to go uh, or the, the perspective view, and then you go into section and you move this camera exactly in the middle of the view. That's, that's very important. Maybe a bit up like this. Okay, so once we have that, go back into 3D view, extend it a little bit up, extend it a little bit down, and this is what we get. And we can extend everything just like that, kind of to grab as much view as possible, kind of to create this wide uh, perspective section. And also I'm just going to give it a bit more up here and down here, just a bit more view. Okay, and maybe select this cube and kind of extend it like that. So we have enough room for our annotations. So kind of created like this, maybe even more. Okay. So once we have this, we need to make just some, a few more adjustments. So first we've got an underlaid CAD drawing over here. So to turn it off, I'm just going to go into VG, go here to imported categories and just uncheck that. And also I'm going to be turning on some shadows. So graphic display options and turn on both of these shadows. Let's see. Okay. This might be just a little bit dark for all of the annotation elements. So here I'm just going to drop shadows down to something like 20. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, this looks nice. Now we'll be able to see all of the annotation elements. Okay. So once we have this, now we can export it. So just select it, uh, yeah, center it just a little bit and now export. So you just go here to file export and you scroll down, you find image and annotation, you go for image 
and make sure you use the maximum size which is I think 1500 pixels horizontally and let's save it on desktop as perspective section yeah let's keep it and just save and hit OK and give it a few moments for Revit to export this JPEG okay so once we've done this part now we need to export our actual detailed section so to do that let's go here into section 1 so this is what we have and then again go here to file export scroll down a bit images and an annotation image again let's let's leave it at 1500 pixels and just go change here and let's just call this one section without the perspective and just hit save and OK and again wait for a moment Okay, so now that we have saved all of our necessary files, we can minimize Revit and here we have these two. So we've got the perspective section and uh, just the section. So I'm just going to right click on the perspective section, go open with and choose Adobe Photoshop. I'm using the CS6 version, but you can use whatever you want. And here you go. So here we have this, this section and as you can see, it looks fairly nice and uh, now we can add our own uh, detailed section so just move this out of the way a bit and then you can just kinda move over this uh, section 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 not perspective section and to see just how to place it I'm just going to hit here OK for a second and now I'm just going to go for this uh, blending options and I'm going to choose something like multiply and as you can see now you can kinda place it on uh, on screen uh, a bit more accurately and you can see it, it becomes transparent the white becomes transparent so I'm just going to type in control T and kind of play around just to get this to what I want as far as size goes so let's see okay this works okay so this works very nice I think okay we need to make maybe make it a bit bigger let's see yeah this I like this okay so it's fitting perfectly right now so you can just hit finish and wait for a second of course and there you go so we've got our annotation elements and they're overlaid over our perspective background and if you want the annotation elements to kinda pop uh, you can take the background and let's just right click and go uh, layer from background and yeah let's call it like that and then we can kind of drop the opacity a little bit of course it makes sense to have a white layer beneath that so just go control A use this rectangle tool right click fill fill it up with white and now if we drop the transparency here this will kind of pop up or pop out I don't know okay but you get the point or you can uh, just create an adjustment over everything and then maybe crank up the contrast a bit or whatever but I think it's enough without this so this looks really cool we've got our detailed section and of course you can add a lot more annotation elements and then in the background you have your perspective view just to give you a bit more context into the whole project Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, please make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.